Hi, I'm Maggie, and I'm looking forward to helping you get started on your journey to becoming a Google Certified Mobile Web Specialist. You start your journey on our website by checking the certification requirements page. Have a look at the other content on the site, such as the FAQs, then download the study guide. Use the study guide to make sure you're ready to take the certification exam. The study guide describes what the certification exam covers and contains links to study materials you can use to help you prepare. When you're ready, sign up to take the exam. You'll continue on our exam vendor site, where you start with a compatibility check to make sure that you have the best experience possible. The compatibility check tests that your system meets the exam requirements for things like your monitor resolution and connection speed. Next, you provide payment information using your credit card. To validate your identity for the exam and to ensure that your exam results and certification are only attributed to you, you upload your government-issued picture ID. For most countries, you need a current passport. To make it easy, have a clear picture of your ID ready to upload on your computer. Then you take a photo of yourself. After paying for your exam, you schedule your exam for the time and place you plan to take the exam. You'll have five hours to complete the challenges, plus 10 minutes to take the exit interview, with a short break in between. So give yourself at least five to five and a half hours to complete the exam in a place with a consistent internet connection. Be sure to pick your time carefully. If you miss your scheduled time by more than an hour, it will count as an attempt. After you schedule, you'll be at your candidate portal. This is a place where you can always go back to see the status of your certification. At your scheduled exam time, you start the exam from your candidate portal. You'll receive an email reminder 10 minutes before your exam time with a link to the portal. After checking your system and connectivity one more time, you log into a Linux exam environment where a desktop is waiting for you with coding tools such as Atom and Chrome. Read through the instructions and then start working through the coding challenges. Use the editor provided to write code, then check the results in Chrome. You may use the internet while taking the exam to look up resources, but be aware that you cannot copy and paste into the environment from your own browser. Although you can use the browser provided in the exam environment, be careful not to copy and paste anything that could be construed as cheating. Be sure to always save your work before moving to the next challenge. If you need to start over, each task has a backup folder with the original files that you can copy to the working folder. A timer shows you how much time you have remaining to help you pace yourself. If, after four hours, you haven't submitted your exam, any work that you saved is automatically submitted. Even if you stepped away from your computer or there was a network interruption, as long as you saved your files, you don't have to worry. When you're ready to submit your exam, open the Submit page and click Submit. After you submit your exam, you can take a short break before you have to start the exit interview. You must start the exit interview immediately after the break, or the interview will expire and count as one of your exam attempts. During the exit interview, you'll answer questions about the exam in a 10-minute timed interview using your webcam and microphone. The purpose of the exit interview is to ensure that your exam results are only attributed to you. Before you attempt the interview, be sure to remove any personal belongings from your workspace to protect your privacy. Next, answer the questions to the best of your ability and then click Submit. The upload process may take some time, so please be patient. If the exit interview fails to upload after a few minutes, be sure to contact support immediately. After submitting your exit interview, check your candidate portal. The candidate portal tells you how you did, and if you did not pass, lets you know when you're eligible to attempt the exam again. Thanks for listening, and good luck on your journey to becoming a Google Certified Mobile Web Specialist.